Hi there and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about signs that you're having a spiritual awakening. How do you know if you're having a spiritual awakening? In this video, we're going to share five signs. Five. So, sign number one that you're having a spiritual awakening is that you are no longer blaming others. I'm just going to let you sit with that. I'm going to let you sit with most of them. <laughs> I'll give you a pause after each sentence so that you can think about where you are in your life. When we begin to awaken spiritually, we start taking responsibility for our lives. We no longer feel that we need to blame others. We understand that we are creators and we start to see how we have created everything up until this point in our lives. It shifts. It's the first shift that happens. It was the first shift that happened for me. This beautiful sign. I remember one day I started to really take on the responsibility that this is my life and I'm in charge of my own happiness. No one else can do it for me because no one else really knows what's in my heart. What I really want, what really makes me happy, what, you know, fills me with love and light and, you know, what I'm passionate about. Nobody really, really knows inside except for yourself. So the first sign that you're having a spiritual awakening is you no longer feel that you need to be blaming others for anything that's going on in your life especially your parents, you know, because we spend a lot of our adult years blaming our parents for everything that's gone wrong or that's not working or, you know, it's so easy to keep blaming them. But there comes a point in your life where you have to realize, well, hang on, you're not living with them anymore. You're your own person now. So when is it time for you to start taking responsibility? This is my life. I'm in charge of my life. I am the creator. So sign number one that you're having a spiritual awakening is that you don't blame others. You start taking responsibility for your choices. You start accepting that you've chosen this. This is, I'm the creator. This is what I've chosen to experience. So that's the first sign. The second sign that you're having a spiritual awakening is that you become more present and to be present I mean you know you can be washing the dishes and all of a sudden you know you're focused on that task at hand nothing else is going on in your mind you're laser focused on how the water feels on your hands the dishwashing soap that makes the bubbles, the smell of the dishwashing soap as you wash up. You know, we could do this, we could do this right now. Um, have a look at your hand and just focus on everything that you can take in about your hand. How does it smell at the moment? Mine smells like sushi because I had sushi for lunch. <laughs> so, it smells a bit fishy. Okay, but let's be present with our hand because that's something that belongs to us. Have a look at every single line. Have a look at every single wrinkle. Have a look at your palm. What shape do you have? What lines? Have a look at your fingertips. Which ones are shorter? Which ones are longer? Have a look at the shape of your hand. Are your fingers wide or are they thin? Have a look at your nails. Are they long? Are they square? Really take in what your hand looks like, all of it, the texture of it, touch your skin. How does it feel? Is it soft? Is it rough? Does it need a bit of moisturizer? Stay with your hand for a second. Touch it with your other hand and how does it feel? Brush it up against your skin. How does it feel? That is being present. 
you find that your mind isn't wandering off so much when you start having spiritual awakenings. The second sign is becoming more present. You don't mean to, but one day you just wake up and you just realize that every moment throughout the day is a moment that you get to cherish. You get to experience it. And to get the most out of that moment, using your senses, use everything, use your eyes, explore the colors, explore the textures of what you're looking at. Use your ears, what sounds are coming from that especially if it's a bird in the tree or outside you can hear the breeze at the moment the wind is really rough like it's making the trees really you know flap see you can hear it smells what can you smell especially if you 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 know you're in your garden there is so much to take in the colors every flower that you look at is a different color i have a camellia bush out the front and every flower that you look at is different. There's no two alike. Not in their colors, not in their shapes. They're all different to each other. And I even have, for some reason, even though it's a light pink, sometimes it'll come out half light pink and half this really dark pink, this hot pink in the one flower, which I find is really amazing because it's all mostly about 90% of the tree of that bush is this really light pink. But occasionally this, half and half will come out a half light pink with this hot pink you know wrapped around it or in the center of it or or half and half literally a half and half and then camellias have their own special smell you know as you take that in but when you're in a garden there's not just the birds singing there's the insects buzzing there's so many beautiful sounds that you can take in if you just sit there and allow your mind to just stop for a moment and let it all sink in, you know? Becoming present is a big one for spiritual awakening. So number three, the third sign that you're awakening spiritually is that you feel a strong connection to everything. And that's because your energy is recognizing that it is part of the energy and that all energies are connected. There's no way of not being connected. You just feel this deep connection. You seem to feel like ah, everything is part of you and you are part of everything. And you start to understand how you affect everything around you and how everything around you affects you. Because it's all interconnected. It is just so beautiful. So that's number three, a deeper connection to everything around you. Everything, your family, your children, your neighbors, your nature in general. You'll feel a really deep connection with nature in general. You know, animals, trees, the beach, everything that has to do with nature, your garden, the soil. You'll start to feel connected to all of it. Number three is a really beautiful part of spiritual awakening, the feeling connected to everything. Number four, the sign that you are having a spiritual awakening <laughs> is that you are no longer attached to outcomes. No longer necessary. And this is a big one, you know, to be unattached from whatever is happening and just allowing it to happen. You don't, you no longer need it to be one way or the other. They're both good. They're both fine. Whatever comes out of every situation is what's meant to come out of every situation. And there's a deeper understanding of that within you that you don't need to control it anymore. You don't need to be controlling what's happening. It's all good. Four is one of my favorites. The no longer needing to be attached. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, every day is about 
being present, being connected, feeling all of that within you. And knowing that each day is a blessing, no matter what comes your way, every day is a blessing. You know? That you're still here, that you get to live another day. It's a miracle. But knowing who you are, knowing that you are the creator, knowing that you are this beautiful energy, as we discussed in the previous video, there is no need to attach to any of it. We are connected to all of it. So that's number four, no longer feeling attachment to outcomes. And the fifth sign that you're having a spiritual awakening is that you begin to see the love at play everywhere. You begin to notice it. This beautiful energy, this God, universe, spirit, life force energy, whatever you want to call it, this intelligence that is in all things. You begin to see it in your children, in your partner, in your pets. And you begin to notice it in everything. You begin to notice this intelligence. The fifth one is just, it's so beautiful. When you open your eyes up to the fact that love is everywhere and that it is loving you, source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, is loving you in every moment. There's nothing else that's ever been happening. Love is all there is. And you begin to see that everywhere, in everything. All right, my darling. So the five signs that you're having a spiritual awakening. Let's do a recap. So number one, you are no longer blaming others. You are taking responsibility for your own actions and your own words. You realize that you are the creator. Number two, you're becoming more present. Every day you become a little bit more present to your own life, to what's happening right now in this moment. Number three, you are feeling more connected to the world. You're feeling the connectedness in everything. And every interaction feels more meaningful because of this connection that you can feel and see in everything. Number four, you are no longer attached to outcomes. You're not invested in what's going to happen because remember you're all present. This moment is all there is. And if you are in this moment, 100%, all of you in this moment, there is nothing to be invested in because the next moment will come and the next moment will come and each moment you will just be present to it. And if it's something you love doing, wonderful. And if it's something you're not, you know, that you don't enjoy as much, you'll still be present to it. And you'll find things within that moment that you can explore and you can still enjoy. And number five is that you begin to see the love everywhere. Because love is all there is. All right, my darlings. So they're the five signs for today. And if you can sit with each one of these and see where you're at on a one to 10, 
let me know in the comments for each one of these beautiful signs from one to ten where do you sit in not blaming others are you a solid 10 you're not doing that anymore or are you somewhere around the five in being present are you a solid 10 or are you somewhere around the two your mind is always wandering off you know worrying about the bills to pay or worrying about the mortgage or you know <laughs> always on other things and not in this moment so let me know in the comments with each one of these signs where you're at on a scale from one to ten Write the number, like say, you know, which one, not blaming, and then put a number, and then more present, and another number, you know, connected, another number, unattached, and seeing the love. I'd be interested to see where you're at and how we can help you get to that solid 10 in all of them. So you can have a richer, more fulfilling experience every day. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.